Hey guys, it's Alex and spring has officially sprung here at our cottage. So there's lots of changes happening outside, but today I wanted to show you some of the major changes that are happening inside of our cottage. Some major changes that have brightened up the space. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We have made the potentially controversial decision, but we think it's a good one, to paint the walls inside of our cottage. So before I show you how they turned out, which I have to say we're pretty happy about, let's kind of go back in time and see what we were working with. So the idea behind painting the walls really stemmed from appreciation for the wood. And what I mean by that is we have these beautiful wood ceilings, these giant beams, this beautiful wood flooring, and then we have a lot of wood on the walls. So right now it's feeling a little bit claustrophobic with uh, the wood overload, so much so that you don't even, your eyes don't even go to the ceiling, you don't even see these beams because it's just wood everywhere. <laughs> the other thing is that the wood really absorbs a lot of the light that we're getting in the space. And so we think by painting some specific walls in the home will lighten up the space, um, light will come in and bounce off the walls a little bit better, and also you'll actually be able to appreciate the beautiful wood that we have in this home. So that's really where it stems from, and we're really excited to see what it's gonna look like. So we wanna be very intentional about what walls we paint. So we're taking it in phases. We wanna kinda of take our time, we wanna feel it out, see how it looks with a couple of walls and kinda of go from there, because we don't wanna do painting overload. So we're starting with this wall, and this wall, and that wall, and that wall. <laughs> so basically, this corner of the space. And so right now, this is actually kind of the darkest area of the home. Because the windows aren't on this side of the house, and so we're hoping that since we're going to be painting this corner, that it'll really brighten up the space. So we're excited to see what it's going to look like. Now that you saw what we were thinking about in approaching this project, let's see how it turned out. So here we are. The walls are painted. As you can see, we went with a uh, white paint, just really brighten up the space and we're really happy with the results. One other big decision that we had to make was whether or not to keep the seams between the wood panels and we decided to definitely keep those seams. So we actually had to use a Dremel to kind of separate the seams in some places. As you saw in the before videos, we had the shelving here as well as above the window and the fan and those are all gone. Please don't mind the pink hole that we have in the wall right now. It's like I said, it's still a work in progress and we're still kind of doing some finishing touches. But uh, another thing that we mentioned was the flow of the space. So originally we were thinking of having the dining nook over here, the living space over there, and we kind of flipped things around. Uh, when we first got the furniture in, we tried it in about every single space and area and configuration you could possibly think of. But we're really happy with the flow, just when you're coming through the door, it made more sense to have more of like the table set up, um, especially with the kitchen being right across from this area and where the island and kind of the bar eating area is gonna be. So we're really happy with the flow and how it turned out. And uh, we're really excited to kind of see it begin to look more like home. So here are a couple before and after shots. We are kind of selectively choosing to paint various walls and we're kind of taking our time and sitting with those decisions because we want to make sure that we're really emphasizing the beautiful wood in our cottage and really embracing the cottage look and feel in the space. So let us know what you think of how it turned out and uh, what you think about the before and after and 
if you have any ideas on how we should continue the cottage theme in the space. Well, everyone, that was the major cottage updates we had to share today. And hopefully you liked it. Let us know what you thought. If you want to learn more about the paint color that we chose or any of the furniture in the space, be sure to check out our website that we have linked below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.